Hey guys, what's up? It's Carl. We're checking out another smartphone today with a very bold claim of being the world's best smartphone camera. We're constantly on the hunt, trying to find a better camera in a phone. I know it's probably the most piece used of hardware. Every time you take a photo, you want to have the best image quality. And I know that's a very bold claim, but I think I may have found one of my favorites so far to date. This is the Vivo X60 Pro and of course the X60 Pro Plus. And what makes this smartphone camera so good and unique is their partnership and collaboration with Zeiss, which is one of the most famous and respected optics companies in the world. Zeiss lenses, for example, I use them on my Sony all the time. So I've got the Zeiss Batis here. This is my 18 mil and of course the juicy 85 mil 1.8. And I would say 90 to 95% of all my Instagram photos, because you guys ask all the time, what's that camera combo that you're rocking are taken with this specific lens. And I've been so happy with my 85 Battis. The color reproduction, the bokeh, the creaminess of it is just something that I haven't really found anywhere else. And I have been so, so happy with these lenses. So when I found out that Vivo was partnering with Zeiss, I immediately had to test out the capabilities of this smartphone camera. And I can say from my initial testing, it has taken some of the best pictures on a smartphone to date. And I know that kind of depends on which model you end up getting. And of course the X60 Pro Plus has better features. It's got the dual main camera system and the T-Star coating that's renowned from Zeiss. So if you look at any of my Zeiss lenses now, you'll see that little red sign T-Star. And that's a special coating that Zeiss has developed to combat light reflection to help reduce artifacting. You really notice that difference when you're shooting into very bright situations. So for this test, I took my iPhone 12 Pro Max. I know this is usually an industry standard. People rave around this camera. I took shots directly into the sun. I know that's the hardest condition to shoot. You'll see here, all of that lens flaring over on the iPhone whereas over on the X60 Pro Plus, it pretty much reduced that to a bare minimum. We were still able to pull a lot of detail in the shadows and still get some pretty decent colors, even though we were shooting in probably the toughest shooting conditions. Typically, most people don't shoot directly into the sun. I also shot a lot of comparisons against the OnePlus 9 Pro, which is also doing a collaboration with Hasselblad, also a very iconic photography brand. And you can still see the clear winner here is the Vivo. The color reproduction is better. I still got a ton more detail. And something else that Zeiss is also adding is the Biotar portrait style. So typically in a portrait shot, you have bokeh in the background. This adds a bit of rotational bokeh to the background to give it a bit more of an artistic effect. And in the end, I think that's a bit more of a fun feature to have, but for your bokeh style or for your bokeh amount, you can actually control that in post. So it's a lot of computational photography. So really cool to see what Zeiss has done with this partnership. And even though I am a bit of a Zeiss fanboy, I still think the camera lived up to its name. The second major feature that I wanna talk about though camera wise is their second gen camera gimbal system. And they've really improved it this year round by adding five axis tilt, which is usually a feature found in high end mirrorless cameras when the sensor actually shifts around when you move the phone. So that will help reduce shakiness. But the biggest benefit that you'll get is having that built in gimbal. So when I tested this playing tennis, even though I am pretty garbage, I was trying to bust my butt from one side of the court to the other, I still got some pretty usable footage, but I think that's pretty impressive for running at full tilt. And last but not least for any sort of camera where they typically fall apart and become super grainy and unusable is night shots. And I can once again say that the Vivo held its own and I'm comparing it to the normal flagships, of course, against the iPhone, some against the OnePlus. And I think that statement stands the best smartphone camera. And I'm not gonna comment on posting to say Instagram, any social media that usually hashes every photo. The compression algorithms are obviously terrible over on Android, but just pulling these on to say my computer to look at the difference. Vivo and Zeiss, I think you guys have done something super special with this. And usually when a smartphone has a standout feature, like a standout camera, the rest of the smartphone kind of pales in comparison. I can say that Vivo has still kept the performance or the standards up for the rest of the phone. So for example, the unboxing experience, very premium and depending on which model you get. So we've got the X60 that has more of the traditional glass metallic finish. Whereas on the X60 Pro Plus, this is actually made with vegan leather on the back. So so it's a bit more premium, it's different. Every smartphone that we see is made out of glass. So just having this in your hands feels obviously different. But sadly on the flip side, you do miss out with wireless charging. Around the front, we've got a quad HD display. 
It's 6.56 inches with pretty much no bezels and you've just got the tiny hole punch cutout in the front. It's an adaptive display so it switches between either 120 to 60 or you can choose to select either option to say save extra battery life. It's rocking the latest silicon on the inside, so the Snapdragon 888 with the Adreno 660 GPU. It performs like a flagship. It's on par with any other Android flagship to date. It is running Android 11 with Fun Touch OS, a bit of a funny name, but it is pretty much like stock Android, and honestly, it reminds me a lot of the OnePlus Oxygen OS skin. My day to day with the device has been great and something that I can't say about other Asian smartphones, it still supports Google mobile services. So I don't need a third party workaround to download my regular social media apps. I don't need to install weird APKs. It works out of the box. It works well like a flagship. And I think that's what Vivo is trying to get across. But yeah, that kind of wraps up my review of the X60 models. Depending on which region you're in, I think the X60 will be more available. If you can though, try to get your hands on the X60 Pro Plus. It's got the T-Star coating. It's got the extra camera sensor. And of course that title of the best camera smartphone that I've used to date. So hope you guys enjoy this. And remember, I'm giving away one of the devices. Just leave a comment down below on your favorite feature, what you take photos with. If you're a Zeiss fanboy, definitely hit me up. Be sure to follow me over on Instagram as that's where I'll be announcing the winner and DMing you over there. Best of luck to you all. Hope you guys enjoyed this vid and I'll catch the rest of you in one of my next ones. Peace.